Hey guys, Tark with Cycle and FPV, and I'm getting ready to show you how to connect to an SP Racing, the F3 flight control. I had a customer ask me about this, but the steps to find out if you have the right driver loaded, for example, so to work properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that on the screen here. I'm gonna share the PC with the, the PC screen right now, so you guys should be able to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna open this package up here, and I'm gonna pull this out, but I want you to watch the computer screen as well, because here's how, uh, if I were gonna help you, here's how I would tell you to do. So let me get my keyboard ready. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is in your Windows, uh, on your Windows computer, I want you to find the uh, the Windows icon here in the bottom right, and I want you to right click on it so that you see this long menu come up. When that comes up, I want you to left click on run, and I want you to type the word control. Uh, there we go, and hit enter. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to come over here to the view by option. Let me, let me kind of make this full screen. I want you to come over here to the view by option and make sure that you have large icons. Most people will have it set up as category. Go to large icons, and once you go to large icons, I want you to go to device manager right here, okay? You're gonna get this list here, and you can maximize this list if you want. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open the board up, and I'm gonna plug it in to my um, uh, to my uh, USB port, so we can see what driver is used when we plug it in. So here it goes. All right, it's plugged in. You see all the lights are blinking. And what I want you to notice is that for this particular comp port, you're gonna need the Silicon Labs driver. Okay. Now, if you're using Betaflight, what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna see right here. You have an option to download the Silicon Labs drivers here or you can do the CP2102 here, and you can get Zadig here. When you do one of these, which is going to be the, uh, the uh, STM files, you're gonna click that, you're gonna go to a website, I believe you're gonna have to register your name. Uh, so you can click, the, uh, you can click uh, I believe it's Get Software. Uh, they've moved it around a little bit. And when you click this, I think it's gonna ask you to register. So you have to agree to this agree, you have to agree to the license agreement here, and that. then you have to fill this out, okay? Um, and there used to be a way to not have to fill it out uh, but I guess now you have to or else you can find it online, but I just fill it out anyway. Then they're gonna send you a link, verify your address, and you only get to download your file. Once you load this file on here, you'll end up seeing, uh, let me open my device manager, you will end up seeing this actually showing up under the COM ports uh, in your device manager. If you don't see Silicon Lab CP2102, sorry, I did the STM, didn't I? I meant the CP2102, so let me go back to that because I believe that that one you don't have to register. I clicked the wrong one here. So you're actually gonna to come to get this one, okay, right here. And I think if you click that, you do not have to register for this software. I believe it's just made available for you to download. So uh, let's see, we'll go to downloads. And then you're gonna to wanna to download, uh, I guess you can do the most recent one, that's what I would do. And so I would do this one right here, unless you're running a Mac, I would run this one right here. And if you click it, it's gonna automatically download that right there. Once you download that and extract it, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let me show this in the folder. And then we're gonna, I can double click on it here. Once you get in here, you will run the, uh, I, I ran either one. You can run the X64, X86. I wanna say the X86 actually ran better on mine, but uh, just run one of them uh, and uh, you'll be able to go down. Obviously the X86 and X64 are depending on the bit of the processor, but in this case, it really didn't apply much. Um, but once you run this, it will load the driver. And what will happen is you will no longer have uh, right here, some of yours may just say COM port. Like, if you don't have this driver loaded properly, it may say COM5 or COM port 5, and that's not what you want. You want the actual driver loaded, so make sure to download uh, this file, uh, and you, like I said, you can get there by opening Betaflight, and for this particular one, you need to download right here. Click this, and you don't have to register for that one, okay? Once you load it, run the files, then what you'll know as a device manager, if you don't have that on there, it will automatically replace it with the right driver, then you should be able to connect with no problem. Once you do that, you should be able to go here and click connect. And where it's gonna say right here is not supported. This is because this particular um, uh, flight controller uh, is loaded with a clean flight configuration. All right, so let me, let me show you how that works here. Um, if you wanted to get into CLI mode though, you could do this, watch. Once you get into this, you could just type version, hit enter. And look, you see how it says it's using this racing F3? So all you have to really do is, see how it says clean flight, right? So all you have to do is click update firmware, okay? and then go to locate the spacing, and if they don't have there, it's spacing F3, right here, boom. And then you can go ahead and you can load the newest one here and load the firmware, and then you can flash it, okay? Now here's where you would have a problem if you don't have the right driver, okay? So if you don't have the right driver load, let me check and see if it did it right here. Now it's still doing it, so you'll be set. Uh, just make sure you get the right driver loaded, and then you can check, if it tells you you can't open it in this, uh, except in CLI, you can find that it uses a spacing F3, um, firmware and either you can use clean flight. I have clean flight on here so sometimes I would use that to connect but if not 
you could download the uh, Spracing F3 firmware and you could flash this uh, uh, board with it like I'm doing right now. And then as soon as it's done, we're gonna see, should be able to connect with no problem, okay? So let me, I'm gonna clean up while we're doing this. I've got a lot of stuff to clean up, it's good. We have been, if I look like more, look more like crap today than normal, it's because we have had the worst winter storm here in Texas since I've ever been here, since I've been alive. Uh, temps, temps in our area got down to, it was like 12 degrees. It's normally like 70. Um, and it was like 70 the time before. All right, hold on. We just got an error here. Uh, let me see. Uh, so let's go ahead and let me see if it is going to, I'm going to unplug the board real quick. And we'll plug it back in. Let me see if I can get it to reset. And there we go. So if you do get an error trying to update the firmware, don't worry about it. It's just that the board isn't resetting properly, but you can go ahead and unplug your USB and then plug it back in. I'm going to do this again now just to show you. So let me say, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to click update firmware. Okay. And I'm going to click load the firmware. Okay. And then I'm going to click flash. All right. Now I'm going to let that keep going and I'll show you exactly what I did. All right, anyways, what I was saying about the, the winter storm is we went from having like 70 degree weather and then within a matter of a day or so, it went down to like 20, I guess, 30, 20, 30s and then 20s and then teens and then like in the 12 degrees. Some of Texas got negative degrees actually. I think it'll fly negative seven, something like that. Um, so we had snow, we had freezing, we have pipes bursting everywhere in this area. Um, we have water being our water supply has now uh, kind of been halted we're getting uh, it's a come and go anyways that's what's been going on so today is february 18th okay so it said it timed out um and again when i disconnect now my usb and i plug it back in okay and i click connect i'm actually in there everything is set i'm going to calibrate this and uh i'm going to go to my cli right now and i'm going to play version And there you go. You can see that we have it loaded and everything looks great. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do this on the Spracing F3. I hope that helps, guys. I know this is kind of a speed video, get, get, get through it quickly, but I mean, literally, I don't know if power goes on or off. Right now, we're doing rolling blackouts out here. Um, so, you know, so uh, I'm hoping to get this video done and get a shower before they cut the electricity and the water off. Well, they say, God bless, guys. Listen, I, I know it's, it's been a little crazy for all you guys that ordered your DJI V2 goggles and everything else. Uh, UPS is saying that they'll be able to hit the roads again tomorrow to pick up, so I'm excited to get all these out to you guys. If you have any questions, as always, please uh, hit us up, uh, follow us, uh, sorry, hit us up at our, 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 our Facebook page, which is, here's that right there, right? So it's facebook.com forward slash Cyclone FPV. You can also go to our group page there as well. And as always, please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to me, if you will. Um, and if you think I talk too fast or you hate the way I look, I get it, I don't care. Just use the videos. If you don't like them, don't use them. But other than that, save save me the hassle of having to respond to all that nonsense. Um, on that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you love, have left. So please make the most of it. Check up on your friends and loved ones every once in a while. We've been having to do that around here because we've got to make sure everybody's okay. All right. Other than that, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.